Before I go into question number thirteen, let me go over an example um, about averages. Okay, so let's say I have a person and then he took three tests. So let's say test one, he got eighty points, and then test two, he got seventy two points, and test number three, he got ninety one points. And the question is. We would like to know how to find the average of these three、um, test scores, and how do we find averages? Average. What we need to do first is you add up all these scores, add up all these points. So eighty plus seventy two plus ninety one, and then I have to divide by how many exams, how many tests that he took, right? Divide by three. So we have eighty plus seventy two. Is one hundred fifty-two, one hundred fifty-two plus ninety-one, so we have, uh, two hundred forty-three, over three, right? So two hundred forty-three divided by three, that's eighty-one. So the average, so we say the average of his test score is eighty-one points. So let me summarize what did we just do, to find average. To find average, we first add up all the scores or all the points of the test, right? Add up all the scores and divide by how many tests that the person took. This is how we find averages for test scores, and especially to calculate your grades, right? Okay, so let's take a look of question number thirteen. And we are going to use this idea right here. But question number thirteen, he asked the questions.、Uh, this question asked the、um, question in a different way. Pay attention、uh, to the wording. He says Adam tried to compute his average、uh, of seven tests, but but he mistakenly divide the number、uh, by six, which he get, he got eighty four. And we are trying to figure out what his What was his、uh, correct average test scores? Okay, so let's see what's going on. He was trying to compute his average, right? So what did he do first? He must add all the test scores. He must add all the, the test scores. That's that should be his first steps. So let me write it down. Add up all the scores, right? And then he wants to divide by how many tests that he took. He took seven, but however, right here it says that he mistakenly divide the correct sum by six. So he add up all the sums. He add up all the scores, but instead of dividing by seven, he divide by six. So this six, ah,、uh, let me put it in quotation mark, because that was kind of incorrect, right? That was incorrect. He should have divide by seven. If he divide by seven, ah,、uh, already then. Um, we solved the question already, right? Anyways, he added all the scores, divide by six, and he got yells an eighty-four. Let me put this again in quotation mark. So this is the wrong average of、um, Adam because he divided by a wrong number. But however, he did add all the scores correctly, though. He says so right here, correct sum. So let's see how do we do this. So、um, what we can do to figure out the correct sum, or、um, when he added all the scores, divide by six, he got eighty four, right? So what we can do first is multiply both sides by six, so the six cancel out, and that means when you add up all the scores, he got six times eighty four. Six times eighty four is five hundred o four. Okay. So I will do this way. The correct average. The correct sum is five hundred oh four, and he should have divided by this by seven instead, right? By seven. So five hundred oh four divided by seven is uh seventy two. You can use a long division. So let me show that real quick. Four five oh four divided by seven. Seven goes into fifty seven times. 
7 times 7 is 49. Subtract, you get 14. 7 goes into 14 twice. 2 times 7 is 14, which is 0. So that's how I got a 72. So that's answer choice B.